Ladies and gents, welcome back. Just a quick one before I get going here. I noticed this article this morning and it just blew me away. Trudeau, obviously not very popular amongst like working class people, that sort of thing. But this is a revelation. And this comes in an article, an opinion piece, why the Liberal Party won't give Trudeau another chance. Now, it was reported in CBC uh, earlier this month that Trudeau is definitely going forward in the next election. That's what he said to his base. Um, but it doesn't appear that maybe his own party wants him. He's obviously bad branding for the Liberal Party. He is the face of the party, absolutely. And of course, but uh, he's really destroyed his brand. And here's an opinion piece talking about just that. Justin Trudeau he seems to have run his course not only as a PM of Canada, but also as the leader of the Liberal Party. Trudeau undoubtedly is a wondrous conversationalist and has played a big role in the triumph of the Liberal Party in three consecutive elections. However, the incumbent PM's sins are bigger than his charms. To tell the truth, he is now seen as a negative light even by the Liberal voters. They could sh shift their allegiances or uh, yeah, allegiances towards the other left-leaning parties any time, and it would be a nightmare for the Liberal Party. He even lost the confidence of the Canadian populace. As a result, the incumbent PM might be ousted by his own party. The Prime Minister face <laughs> Prime Ministerial face uh, in the next election. It could definitely be the end of an era in Canadian politics. Now, this is funny because what are they going to do? They're going to go to the NDP, which uh, has also been destroyed by their leadership. Jagmeet Singh, uh, known as Sellout Singh on the Internet. Uh, most people, most NDPs just looking at him like, what? How could you sell us out so badly? He's destroyed the NDP. So what are people left to do but vote for the Conservative or the People's Party of Canada? Uh, nobody's voting green. Don't 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 kid yourself. You see, the liberal leadership understands that they are able to keep the conservatives out of power as long as they are able to project a strong face for the liberal voters to trust. This is so because they don't want the latter vote, the latter's vote to get split between them and the only strong leftist alternative, the NDP, the New Democratic Party. Usually the liberal voters are split between the liberal party and the NDP, giving the conservatives an upper hand. However, the liberal party has been able to gain victory in three consecutive elections by significantly reducing its division as they project a strong face like Trudeau. However, that was once a strong asset has now gone rogue. There are a lot of people who are liberal voters, NDP voters, that were really scathed by the division that was sowed by Justin Trudeau. This is not something good for their brand. One of the major issues with the conservative rise to power was their inability to project a viable face like the Liberal Party did. But now that they have a new player in the game and he's talking, he's taking the Liberal Party head on ever since Trudeau took office, he has had very little resistance both in his own party and the opposition. But now he must contend with the official opposition leader whose charm is in fact which is, in fact, more than him. Comparison to the former leaders of the Conservative Party, the tool, Aaron O'Toole, and Andrew Scheer, who is just like a, a, a pushover. No joke. Sorry, Andrew Scheer. Um, you said great things, but uh, you're such a pushover. Neither of whom were popular enough. And I say this because Pierre Polyev, he knows the game. He knows how to uh, not be on the defensive and steer where the conversation goes. And that is definitely a good thing, especially when you're going up against the liberal establishment media in debates and things like that. If uh, they always frame the debate, so it's always framed for the liberals, he's able to steer the conversation, turn it around. That's what is needed if he wants to be Trudeau. Actually, helping Trudeau's highlight his skill set, having bad uh, leaders in the Conservative Party, but now he's up against a very strong conservative face, Pierre Polyev. And this fact should be indeed trouble the Liberal Party leadership from calling snap elections amid a deadly corona, vi corona wave to branding protest truckers as terrorists. Trudeau's tenure has been surrounded by the controversy. Uh, what about uh, SNC-Lavalin firing 
the, <laughs> the, the minister of justice in order to get somebody who's not going to pursue, uh, pursue these allegations against that company, which is uh, which had political ties to Trudeau. Um, the Ava, Ava, er, the Aga Khan scandal. I mean, there's so many scandals. There's not even I don't even have time in this video for that. His repeated attempts to control information by bringing about laws like Bill C-11 and, and yeah, have been seen as ways to quash democracy and freedom. A recent poll shows that Trudeau's approval rating record low levels. I, I'd say these polls are bunk. They, they don't even actually uh, people people against Trudeau and the establishment don't even reply to these. I think that they're way skewed, even even though they're not showing well for the liberals, I think they're even further the other way. I think they're even further uh, for in in a general election. We're going to see a bigger turnout against uh, Trudeau, against the NDP, for uh, the PPC, and for the CPC in Canada. The poll came after a previous survey indicated that the Conservative Party had maintained a comfortable lead over the Liberal Party. Now, with conservatives leading the race, coupled with them having charismatic leader, the Liberal Party w should not really risk putting ju forward Justin Trudeau. I hope they do. I really hope they do. Otherwise, it could trigger, trigger a historic vote split that will destroy the Liberal Party once and for all. Oh, boo-hoo, the Liberal Party being destroyed. The Liberal, the party, I mean, who are they going to run? Christia Freeland? Try that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go. For it, honestly, um, we're not looking at an election as of yet, anytime soon. But there is a lot of pressure on Jag Jagmeet Singh. Uh, every day you see on Twitter people replying to his comments: uh, "Vote no confidence, vote no confidence." He's hanging on to what he's got. Uh, speculation is that his pension is just around the corner, and he doesn't want to get voted out, so he doesn't want to call for an election. But that is speculation. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this. I think it's hilarious that they're on the run now because, well, it's time for them to go. And, uh, well, Trudeau and his legacy, he is now the legacy of the World Economic Forum talking puppet, muppet of the uh, Canadian government. Anyway. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you're not yet subscribed. Do that so do do that now, or consider subscribing. Uh, hit that notification bell. Let you know when I go live. I'll be live tonight at 6:30 Pacific time. Check your local listings, and uh, we'll see you in the next one if we don't see you there. Anyway, keep on trucking. You still here?